Once, long ago in the jungle, the animals were gathered around the watering hole. They were sad because a new lion had come to live in their part of the jungle. This lion was a terrible bully. He tied Elephant's trunk in a knot. He put fruit on Rhino's horn. He even played connect the dots with giraffe's spots and made funny pictures. The animals met to see how they could get rid of the lion. Above them, in a tree, a monkey was listening. He started laughing. Why are you laughing? asked the animals. I am laughing because you are all scared of the lion. I am not afraid of him. He has been working for me for years, said the monkey. The thought of the monkey making the lion work for him made the animals laugh. The lion walked up to the animals and roared. Why are you laughing? The animals told the lion what the monkey had said. Oh yeah? Where is he? The animals pointed to the tree where the monkey had been sitting. But he was gone. The lion stormed off to find the monkey. Far away from the watering hole, the monkey was sitting in the middle of the path. When the lion saw the monkey, he ran up to him and growled. The animals told me that you said you were not afraid of me and that I worked for you. That is not what I told them, friend lion, said the monkey. I told them I am afraid of you and that I wish that I could work for you. Come on, lion, let's go see those silly animals and make sure they know the truth, said the monkey. Together, they started down the path toward the watering hole. They had only gone a few steps down the path when the monkey grabbed his leg and cried, Uh-oh! What is wrong with you? growled the lion. I stepped on a sharp rock. I am afraid that I cannot walk back with you, said the monkey. You have to, said the lion. You have to tell the animals that you really are afraid of me. Well, maybe I could make it if you would let me ride on your back, said the monkey. All right, get on, said the lion. The monkey got onto the lion's back, and the lion started walking down the path. They had only gone a few steps when the monkey cried out, Uh-oh! What is wrong? asked the lion. I am having a hard time sitting on your back. It is very lumpy. It would help if I had a saddle, said the monkey. The lion helped the monkey make a saddle out of palm leaves. The monkey sat on the saddle and said, This is much better. Let's go. They had only gone a few steps when the monkey cried out, Uh-oh! What is wrong? growled the lion. I am afraid of falling out of the saddle. It would help if I had something to hold. The lion helped the monkey tie some vines around his neck. This is much better, said the monkey. Let's go. They had gone a few more steps when the monkey again cried out, Uh-oh! What is it now? growled the lion. There are a lot of flies around here. I need something to swat them away, said the monkey. The lion got a large leafy branch and gave it to the monkey. Thank you, lion. This will help, said the monkey. Let's go. As the monkey and the lion got close to the watering hole, the monkey sat up high in the saddle, grabbed the vines tightly, swatted the lion with a leafy branch, and yelled, yee -ha! The lion was so surprised that he ran very fast. He ran so fast that he ran right past the watering hole where all of the animals were gathered. yee -ha! Come on, you lazy lion. It is not time to rest, yelled the monkey. The animals all started laughing and pointing at the lion with the monkey on his back. As they went past the watering hole, the monkey swung off of the lion's back and into the trees. The laughter of the animals rang in the lion's ears as he ran down the path. He never came back to that part of the jungle. He may still be running, and the clever monkey may still be laughing.